by car, bus, or train. People commute daily using either one or a combination of two of these. With gas prices climbing, which is better for us to travel? I took the bus from Hollywood to Fort Lauderdale. I have classes like three times a week. And for me, the things that I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. Well, for one thing, I can say the thing that I really like is the fact that riding the bus is like exciting, it's like an adventure to me because I love to travel. But, you know, the thing about it is, is that even though it's really a great way to save money because, you know, at the same time I don't own a car, so I'm able to save a lot of money on gas, uh, you know, and other expenses, you know, that come with owning a car, same insurance, you know, a car payment and so on and so forth. The only thing that really I don't really like about it is the bus is not always reliable. There are times when, you know, uh, you feel you're at the mercy of the bus schedule and you, you have to really sort of like, you feel like you're rushing to make the bus. Sometimes I've had so many uh, occasions when I wanted the bus to be early, but the bus was late instead. Or occasions when I wanted to, to be late and it was early. And as a result, I ended up missing the bus altogether. You take the train, $5 to take you home, $5 to come back, it's $10. If you put $20 gas, you know, it's just going to take you, you know, half in a day. That's why I like this train better. There's bus, there's car, there's train, there's carpooling. Never done carpooling, really, and I've never ridden, I've never been on a train. Taking a bus before, I don't like it too much. It's time consuming. But when you have your own vehicle, it's easier. You can leave when you want to, show up wherever it is you want to, and you know if you leave within a certain time frame, you can make it on time, and there would be that much that wouldn't be that much of a problem. Somebody who has has driven up here as well as taking the train, there are pros and cons. The pros for driving yourself is you know you don't have you have a direct destination. There isn't any stopping for anybody else. The con, the the no wait that that was the con, my bad. The the pro the pro is definitely like when I when I'm sitting on the train and I look outside and I look at the expressway and how backed up it is and how I've got a smooth ride and I don't have to worry about all that traffic that is a total pro. But the con is you know it, you're on their time you're not you're not able to leave when you want you're not able to go to your exact destination. So for me if I had to choose I definitely would go with the car over the train hands down. Transportation is a key issue. With gas prices rising daily and car insurance not getting any cheaper, perhaps the time has come for us to abandon our own vehicles for the time being and give public transportation a shot. Or if we become so dependent on our own cars that it might be just too late for even that. Only we as people know the answer. I'm John Riley.